are cutting aluminum, people. Wow. Morning, everybody. I also just realized I really gotta stop saying good morning when it's not necessarily morning. It is uh, 2.30 in the afternoon, so well, good day. How you doing? What morning? Maybe it's morning. I don't know, whenever you're watching this. Today, we're gonna be cutting some of the shiny stuff. So I've taken a fair amount of time to do some research and, and try and determine what the best approach for cutting this stuff is gonna be with this desktop machine. On a traditional CNC mill, yes, I still think high efficiency milling is the approach that you wanna take. Um, and I still think there is a possibility for doing that with this machine, but I have two things going against me that make it really troublesome to try and make that happen. First and foremost, I do not have access to coolant. I've got an MDF bed. If I go adding any fluid in there, it just becomes a big gummy gross mess. So I really don't want to be shooting coolant. Second issue is chip clearance and chip evacuation. Because I do not have the coolant to help keep everything cool, I have to make sure chips are getting the hell out of the way or they will clog up a cutter. So I'm using a single flute cutter today from Amana Tools. Hopefully this guy should do the trick in terms of chip evacuation and I'm taking a different approach which is more of a high step over, low axial. It's kind of like the Daytron uh, machines where those little suckers just really high feed rate. That's the word we're looking for. A very high feed rate uh, milling operation. That is going to be the game plan for today. Hopefully that will just provide me with uh, small chips. The only, only con I'm going to run into is the fact that I don't have... I don't have the best work holding. Traditionally with metals, you start using things like vices. I don't have a vice to run on this guy. So because of that, I'm gonna be relying on double-sided sticky tape. So my only major concern right now is that I will generate enough cutting forces to lift this guy up off the bed, um, at which point it will be a prompt oh shit button and hopefully I can salvage the cutter. So that's, that's the game plan for today. Fingers crossed this goes well. Something else probably worth noting, because I am stuck relying on adhesive work holding, something I'm going to do to try to give myself the greatest probability of success is clean this guy. Uh, if there is any residual grease or grime like you're seeing there on this rag, um, good chance that will affect the adhesion of the tape and therefore uh, the quality or the, the ability for that tape to actually, you know, resist the cutting forces. It's not a guarantee and by no means is this like a, oh, did that, why'd it pop off? It's just, you know, I'm gonna give this thing the best chance it possibly can, right? That's, that's the idea. Square me up, right? That's that does not look square. Uh, you're thriving over here, people. Engineering degree. Figure out how to square something? Eh, maybe. This is it. Uh, I've got everything set. I've got my rip'em set ready to go. And fingers crossed, this all goes swiftly. An interesting little resonance sound there. We are cutting aluminum, people. Beautiful cut. All right, 
right, here's the real pet. Mmm. Interesting. So for starters, it left a little fin. And it also seems to think... The adaptive must have not paid attention to the slot. It's trippy. Real cut? Nope. Start of a cut? Nope. Okay, the next one's a real cut though. That's what has me a little nervous. There's this weird little like ghost cut, no one cares. Woo! I don't think I'm losing steps. But I actually think my chip load's too high. And that cutter's not making a full revolution to finish out the chip. We're actually gonna drop the feed rate to 90%. Nah. Try 80. At 80% feed rate, I'm just curious if this will clean that up. Nope. Go back to 100. Good, let's try 200%. 110. No problem. 120. Okay, zero concern at 120%. Try 130. Fifty percent feed rate. Weird little thin. This is over a hundred inches a minute in aluminum right now, and it's not caring at all. I will say this: the spindle's bogging down at that speed, though. There you have it guys, it, it cuts, it cuts aluminum and it does so mwah, beautifully. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I, I'm completely surprised by those results. I was, I was hopeful based on some of the other parameters and looking over some other videos that I would be able to do this. I'm pretty sure, I'll have to double check the footage, but I'm pretty sure I got over a hundred inches a minute in aluminum, no problem. And it was just flying through it. So I'm actually really, really optimistic that this is definitely something I can cut going forward. The chips for this entire process look gorgeous. They're a bunch of really small um, little C's or, or sixes or nines. And, and the beautiful part about it is, is that is a chip that is carrying away all of the heat, but is not a chip that is going to A, clog my cutter, which is almost impossible with a single flute, or B, get wadded up into a giant ball and therefore become something that this thing has to deal with. All in all, completely successful machining. I feel really confident with that recipe. I'm actually... I'm genuinely surprised because this is not normally how my testing goes. If you've watched any of my other testing videos so far with this machine, it's been a lot more like and all the other bad sound effects. This had none of that. It just it just did the thing. Big thank you to NYC CNC for, for their videos because without that little video series, I definitely think there would have been a little bit more crashing. In the very beginning, you probably heard that there's a bit of a weird resonance going on. This is a cutter that I don't know was ever 
necessarily uh, balanced to 26,000 RPM, but I sent it at 26,000 RPM and it seemed to do just fine and dandy. So I'm quite excited with that. That tells me there is plenty, plenty to, uh, to be had out of this machine. So yeah, at this point, I can start designing some really cool projects in aluminum and feel pretty confident that not only will they run, but if I have to walk away for two seconds, that's okay. I don't think I'm gonna do a ton of aluminum right out the gate, but it's, it's nice to know that this machine absolutely will do it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.